And it's also the way that humans' brains work. And scientists' brains are no different, right? We, the way that we see things is through the, rea the RAS, right? The, the uh, reticular activating um, system. I feel like every self-help person guru out there knows about it and they talk about it. The RAS is kind of, is that area in your brain that filters through all the information around you and only focuses on what you deem to be relevant. What that means is you you already have to have something that you think is important and relevant so that your RAS in the brain picks up relevant information of, of you know and uh, that surrounds this this hypothesis you have or that belief you already have and so scientists are no different than the rest of humans and they have to have already something that they believe in to write that hypothesis on that grant to to be able to run that study so they're already starting out with something that they've already decided to be true and then they conduct the whole study to make it easier and easier for them to prove what they already think is true is true. So you already have a school of thought over decades that believes that those plant chemicals are antioxidants for humans. And so all the studies that are being run are hypothesizing that if you eat more of those, we should see healthier outcomes. And they're not realizing the inherent bias that they already have. But nobody has ever, well, I mean, there are, but they're in the minority, conducted studies with the hypothesis that what that those polyphenols, those antioxidants in the plants, those are antioxidants for the plant to defend itself. Doesn't mean it's going to transfer to us. Doesn't mean that that benefit is going to transfer to us, right? And so very few doctors have hypothesized that. And thus, that's why you see so few studies that aim to look at, well, what happens when we omit those polyphenols?